welcome to the stage, Keenan Scott II. Thank you, thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Juneteenth. My name is Keenan Scott II, and I am the writer of Thoughts of a Colored Man, opening this fall at the Golden Bay. Thoughts of a Colored Man gives insight into the inner life of being black and male in the 21st century. This modern day allegory blends poetry, music, and movement to look beyond societal labels. Set over a single day, Thoughts of a Colored Man is a theatrical mosaic that reveals the nuanced humanity of being a man of color. The following is an excerpt from my play, Thoughts of a Colored Man, entitled, May I Sit Down? an Afrocentric descended angel sitting by herself. And she's beautiful. I mean, so many moments are precious, I was told, and when you get to see into someone's soul, you see heaven. So if that's true, heaven is where I am. She started to direct her finger across the sky like she was painting the stars. And the world fell silent as I listened to the internal instrumental my heartbeat made. And as I came behind her, I touched her shoulder like the wind. And she looked at me like that familiar image she looks at in her dreams. And she is like the perfect use of accidents in just the right amount of lines. Her pupils look lost, and I wanted to be the teacher that teaches them to love what they see. Through pictures, I have pieced together her figure like a mosaic, and I have her on the walls of my mind like graffiti on cathedrals in a ghetto called apartments. So I grabbed my moon easel, and star palette and I started to add to her masterpiece I found an Afrocentric descended angel that reminded me of Aphrodite and I wondered what would be her aphrodisiac so she was sitting by herself and now I sit with her and she is beautiful thank you Thank you. So now it is my honor to bring the incomparable Ben Vereen to the stage. She is beautiful. Is that beautiful? Yeah. You didn't hear me. Yeah. She is beautiful, yeah. is she not? Yeah. We're talking about this beautiful black woman. Yeah. She is beautiful, is she not? Yeah. Yeah. June G is beautiful, is it? People are celebrating all over the United States. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you, New York? Yeah. People in Nebraska are celebrating June G. Broadway League is celebrating Juneteenth on Broadway. Hello, somebody. We got something to be proud about. I want to thank the president for commending and making this a national holiday 10 years late. After Texas, many, many years late, but better late than never. We have reason to celebrate, but I don't want this to be a one day of yay, happy Juneteenth. It's a consciousness thing, and it's time for us to make that consciousness into our children so that they understand what today is all about and live it in a consciousness of freedom. Remove the shackles from their minds and let them go free. One person agrees. Lilia said, we're free. We're free, people act like you're free. So we're free, but we're still in bondage because we're in bondage here against the love for one another. Somebody 
long time ago wrote something in 1863 on paper, but we were free from the time we were born, please. Our creator made us free and it's her, his image. This takes man a little longer, that's all. And then, so it's actually a Ben Vereen proclamation, a proclamation. <laughs> if I'd have wrote this proclamation, it would have been a long time ago. <laughs> it would have been long before 1863. It would have been done in the beginning when God created heaven and earth. Anyway. <laughs> Am I the only one here? <laughs> now I want to thank the Broadway League for doing this. Thank you. And uh, I'm, I'm excited now that we're more, we're, we're more inclusive, and I'm, you know, and, I, and I'm, I'm looking forward to this new era that we enter into. Can I get a job? <laughs> Here's a proclamation. It was, it's been uh, written down so that I don't keep you here all day. You should read the proclamation, Emancipation Proclamation. You should teach your children what it says. Because this is our foundation for our supposedly, supposedly freedom from slavery in this country. It says here that on the first day of January in the year of our Lord, 1863, all persons held as slaves within any state or designated part of a state, the people whereof shall then be in rebellion against the United States, shall be then, thenceforward and forever free. Word. And the executive government of the United States, including the military and the naval authority thereof, will recognize and maintain the freedom of such persons and will do no act or acts to repress such persons or any of them in any effort they may make for their actual freedom. I want you to hear this. Hear this today. Now therefore I, Abraham Lincoln, <laughs> President of the United States. He wasn't a black man. <laughs> We're making black today. Hi, Abraham Lincoln. President of these United States. By virtue of the power in me vested as commander in chief, thereby enjoined upon so people declared to be free to abstain from all violence unless necessary self defense. And I recommend to that to them that in all cases when allowed they labor faithfully for reasonable wages. That means we're all going to get a raise. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody going to get a raise now. Hey. Ain't that going to yeah. Even you, man, you're going to get a raise. that such persons of suitable condition will be received into the armed services of the United States to garrison forts, position, stations, and other places, and to man vessels of all sorts in said service. And upon this act, sincerely believed to be an act just warranted by the Constitution upon military necessity, I invoke the considerate judgment of mankind and the graciousness, favor of Almighty God. In witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand Cause the seal of the United States to be affixed.
done at the city of Washington, the first day of January, in the year of our Lord, 1,863, and of the independence of the United States of America, 87th President Abraham Lincoln. Y'all free now. Y'all free. Like the song says, if every voice, listen, and sing till earth and heaven rings, rings with the Rejoicing, rise high as a listing sky. Let us march on to victory. Is one, it's not over. We love you. Now, here to celebrate in song is Kimber Elaine Sproul, Matthew Frederick Harris, Mark Kudish, Austin Scott, and Tom Nellis from Girl from the North Country, singing Bob Dylan's Blowing in the Wind, Stanley Martin from Aladdin, singing Feeling Good, Andre Jordan from Diana the musical singing redemption song and Tina the musicals Nick Rashad Burrow singing freedom
And I witness all of the greatness that is the shapes and shades with which you paint this massive expanse. How can I do not dance? How can I not stand at the back that I too have the chance to stand even on the edge of the pool of light that your brilliance has cast? I ask, how bad is it that even in the face of pandemic, corruption that's systemic, the wicked politicking and systemic corruption that you have not only found a way to rise again, that you have proven that you have thrived, and them that would steal your joy. Yes. Them that make ploys to cast noise over the melody of your song are met with throngs of tongues that sing from the lungs of those that came before us, belting out an undeniable chorus, a song first sung by our forefolk and ancestors, and their song is that of a long sword sharp enough to smite the would-be like takers that seek to steal your joy and destroy your truth. And yes, that includes the light taker of self-doubt that you that led in you too. Because damn. When I look at y'all, even if just for a glance, black people, I see so much greatness that I can't help but dance. created equal, endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Among these, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. His name was Jefferson. There were slaves then, but in their hearts the slaves believed him too, and silently took for granted what he said was also meant for them. 
It was a long time ago, but not so long ago at that. Lincoln said, no man is good enough to govern another man without that other's consent. There were slaves then too, but in their hearts the slaves knew what he said must be meant for every human being, else it had no meaning for anyone. Then a man said, better to die free than to live slaves. He was a colored man who had been a slave but had run away to freedom. And the slaves knew what Frederick Douglass said was true. With John Brown and Harper's Ferry, Negroes died. John Brown was hung. Before the Civil War, days were dark. And nobody knew for sure when freedom would triumph or if it would, thought some. But others knew it had to triumph. In those dark days of slavery, guarding in their hearts the seed of freedom, the slaves made up a song. Keep your hand on the plow, hold on. That song meant just what it said. Hold on, freedom will come. Keep your hand on the plow, hold on. Out of the war it came bloody and terrible. But it came. Some there were, as always, who doubted that the war would end right, that the slaves would be free, or that the union would stand. But now we know how it all came out. Out of the darkest days for people and a nation, we know now how it came out. There was light when the battle clouds rolled away. There was a great wooded land and men united as a nation. America is a dream. The poet says it was promises. The people say it is promises that will come true. The people do not always say things out loud nor write them down on paper. The people often hold great thoughts in their deepest hearts and sometimes only blunderingly express them and stumblingly say them and faultily put them into practice. The people do not always understand each other, but there is somewhere there always the trying to understand and the trying to say, you are a man. Together we are building a land, America, land created in common, dream nourished in common. Keep your hand on the plow. Hold on. If the house is not yet finished, don't be discouraged, builder. If the fight is not yet won, don't be weary, soldier. The plan and the pattern is here, woven from the beginning into the warp and woof of America. All men are created equal. No man is good enough to govern another man without his consent. Better die free than to live slaves. Who said those things? Americans. Who owns those words? America. Who is America? You and me. We are America. To the enemy who would conquer us from without, we say no. To the enemy who would divide and conquer us from within, we say no. We say no. Freedom, brotherhood, democracy. To all the enemies of these great words, we say no. A long time ago, an enslaved people heading toward freedom made up a song. Keep your head on the plow. Hold on. The plow a new furrow across the field of history. Into that furrow the seed, the freedom seed was dropped. From that seed a tree grew, is growing, will ever grow. That tree is for everybody. For all America. For all the world. May its branches spread and shelter grow. Until all races and all people
people's lowest shade. Keep your hand on the plow. Hold on. That's a freedom plow from Langston Hughes. If you don't know who he is, look him up, Langston Hughes. Continuing the celebration, please welcome to the stage Lion King's Bonke Duma yes. and friends singing African Sunset. Yes. Newsies LaVon Fisher Wilson singing Motown Medley yes. and Richard Riaz, the daughter with fabulous feet. Yes. Welcome. Yes. 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 Uh, let me teach you something African. Sambona, where I say Sambona, you say Yebo. Sambona! Yebo! Sambona! Yebo! Let me start by saying this. This is a big day yes. for our people. Yes. When we are coming from South Africa, we are the singers and dancers from South Africa. Yes. And we represent the continent today. As our brothers and sisters were taken from Africa, the mothers and fathers and the children were weeping as all those people left. Before we start, I want to raise all those spirits that left the motherland and those who were weeping. As we say, Sambona!
Young Fisher Wilson. And I'm very proud that Broadway is coming back, honey, and celebrating us the way she be. So about cats. <laughs> I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, where the Derby is. Um, and while we were in pandemic, I was honored uh, with the Fun for the Arts uh, National Award. So we opened the Derby this year. Horses and everything with these hats. And we were the first African-American uh, singing group to actually perform at the Pagoda at Churchill Downs, 2021, okay? Not the first African-American group to perform at, at Churchill Downs, but that particular stage right in the middle of the track. So it's an honor. So we making first this year, honey, first. We gonna do a little Motown. And, uh, Beats. 
Standing Musician. Classic Shaka Khan tune, Stay.
which is, by the way, incredibly important. It's imperative for us as Americans, as worldly, global individuals. 
I say that to say I learned almost everything I know from music. And it was always in my household. And this particular individual touched me in a way when I was about 13 years old, thanks to my aunt. His original name, his given name was Terrence Trent Darby. Some of you know that? He has since claimed himself and changed his name to Sananda Mayatri. This song is a cappella. Do what you want. Hey, dancers, if you feel like moving, get into it. I don't care. Do your thing.
Thank you. I'll be brief because, you know, I'm a president. So listen, I am what you call the Sojourner Truth of Broadway. I've been on Broadway uh, for like over 50 years, as already well said. And it really warms my heart that the shoulders I stood on was the late uh, great Douglas Turner Ward who allowed me to be in the union and be able to work because I just don't sit at the table I say pass me the potatoes so I just want to uh, recognize the producers that I have worked with uh, Boza Rivers, Ashton Springer and, 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 and uh, the playwrights that you can always come home, come home if you're African American and you're black so I just want to say like Sojourner Truth we have shoulders to stand on, but listen, the shoulders get weary sometimes. But as a black woman, we got a whole bunch of hips that you can hold on to. So I'm happy, enjoy the show, and it warms my heart to see because Lilius knows we go on Broadway, we don't see anybody. And I want to thank Keenan, my new, my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Before we get started, you know, we're putting in the scene. My job is to give you liberation and permission to be your most authentic self. So you're going to watch us do it, and I dare you to join me. we got a few songs, and it's your chance to catch it. Okay? We're here for Juneteenth. Oh, come on! Yeah! We are here for Juneteenth. It's about freedom. It's about black freedom. It's about queer freedom. Every space you walk in, take that freedom with you. Every rehearsal room you walk in, take that freedom with you. Every grocery store you walk in, take that freedom with you. We owe it to our ancestors. We owe it to them. Yeah.
love to get your thoughts, so let us know in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel for future videos on New York City and hit the notification bell to receive more updates.